Hey guys, so today on part two of building a model derby car motor, we are going to build the transmission brace. So first thing you're going to need is this stuff right here. It's end of a um, rivet. Um, so they usually come pretty long. So I will just, I just... I cut all mine already, but you just measure the length of yours, and then you just cut it, and then do that to the other ones. And once you have it cut, you go from the top, then to the side, to the bottom, and then to the other side. See how many you need? I need four, so I got four here. And once you've done all that, you just put it it right where it starts where the crease kind of starts and one where the drive shaft goes into that's where you put the first one and with this right here with the transmission brace it won't fit like it's supposed to in the car so instead of sitting like this it might sit like that um, but, yeah. So, you're just gonna do that on one of the sides, too. Do that on one side, too. One at the top, and one where the drive shaft goes into. But, yeah so there you go and um you can put one in between those if you want to if there's too much space and you don't like it um but yeah. you don't have to do this you can just uh just let it be and put in a car that's what you basically do but um yeah i'll get to i'll do the bottom and the sides and i'll show you when it's all done so guys I just finished it so there it is and like I said before you can put uh, one in between those if you want but you don't have to so and you can uh, color those if you want to it's up to you uh, but I'll catch you guys next time when we build the headers and the wires so see ya See you next time.